Two voter guides in St. Johns County have caused confusion for some voters looking to head to the polls during early voting. The GOP of St. Johns County says only one is accurate, the other a phony. Our Zach Wilcox joins us live now from the Ponte Vedra Beach Library and early voting site. And Zach, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement is investigating the two voter guides. Yeah, Riley, you'd be forgiven if you got these two things mixed up. How about I just show you? This is the officially in a list of officially endorsed folks from the GOP here in St. Johns County. And this is the list that some folks received in the mail. You can see that they are strikingly similar. There is one key difference between these two, and that is the list of candidates that are endorsed because there is not a single candidate that's the same on both lists. And I talked to the GOP chairman here in St. Johns County who mentioned this got on his radar on Friday when he started getting phone dozens of phone calls and emails from voters who were confused or upset that they received this other list. And uh, not, we're not really sure exactly how big of an issue this is at this point, but I can tell you for perspective, St. Johns County GOP printed out 20,000 of its official endorsement lists, and they've been handing those out for the past couple of weeks here leading up to early voting. And the, another thing adding to this is that St. Johns County is largely a Republican area. A lot of these races are determined during the primary you know, in August here as opposed to in November because most of the candidates running are Republican and such a large amount of the voting demographic is Republican. So they are pursuing, you know, they have FDLE involved here, so there is law enforcement involved, and they are willing to pursue uh, a lawsuit as well once they figure out who is responsible. Something like this could, could legally, if it upsets an election, could result in a lawsuit from a candidate overturning the elections and having to be redone. It's, this is a serious, serious issue. The easiest way to spot the difference between these two is that the official one was not mailed out, only handed out door to door across the county. The other one, however, was mailed out. So if you receive one in the mail, that is the fake voter guide, and they're asking you to report it to the GOP so they can keep track of just how big of an issue this is. In St. Johns County, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side. Thank you, Zach. And early voting in the Florida primary election is now underway across our area. You can vote early in St. Johns, Clay, and Nassau County through August 17th. In Duval County, you have until August 18th to vote early. Primary, primary election day in Florida is August 20th.